Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS. It's time for Owens Field Report, sponsored by Les Schwab Tire Centers. Welcome back, everyone. Here's your field report going into this holiday week. Slow. <laughs> if you want to chase steelhead this upcoming week, you're going to need to watch the river levels. We'll get there in a second. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, but at the very least, reports that I got yesterday from the coast and somewhat ish, local ish esque here. Uh, very, very slow. Uh, just low, clear water conditions. That's not conducive for a lot of bites if the fish are there. Uh, if the fish were there. Uh, along with that, it, they're just not going to be making big pushes uh, into any river systems uh, if they're coming from the salt or big rivers into smaller tributaries until there's some sort of reason to do that. And that all starts with their, their nose, right? Now, some of these rivers get a little stink in them, uh, maybe color up a little bit. Really, I mean, it's just, it's January, basically, right? I mean, we're a week, a week away from 2024, uh, this is winter steelhead time. So barring just a crazy scenario, you should have good opportunities out there. Hey, I'll be the first one to admit, it's a very strange year, and that's all conducive to a uh, uh, El Nino year. Very much normal. This is not new. This is something that's been going on since I was this big when we were chasing salmon around fall Chinook in October, November, and they'd all start, grandparents and parents would be talking about El Nino, this is one of those years, go into winter steelhead, and it's just kind of that mind boggler, right? It got much worse when I got into duck hunting. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully things will be good. I know that I'll be spending a little bit of time this upcoming week chasing some steelhead around, and that's only because, based on my schedule this week, I'm gonna have a day to be able to do it, and it coincides with what's gonna happen with rivers, which is a perfect time to actually get out there and take a shot at them right in here. You're gonna have a chance right in here for a lot of different systems. Again, this is my home river, but it just gives you an idea what's going on in the valley. Moving along through the coast, up uh, the north coast in particular, same thing. These are not massive bounces by any means. You can fish this rise. We've talked about it for 100 years, so has everybody else that if you, on a, you never fish a river on the rise. That's not enough of a rise to say no. That's enough of a rise to go, yeah. Because it is, it's not enough to blow them out, not enough to put them too far off. And if you do things the right way, you got a pretty good opportunity. And if you keep on going south, everything is gonna stay the same as far as these forecasts. So no matter what system it is that you wanna spend your time on, wherever you have, unless you're on the east side, uh, but if you're over here on the west side along the coast or the valley, whatever, uh, don't forgive me for that, uh, you're, you're going to have a decent opportunity. This, this is the time. If, you know, all you can hope for is that things will go our way. Now, some of the things that you need to be more successful when you get out there is some of the Procure products. Here's the easiest way to do it, and they'll send it to you right to your front door if you win. Right? Send an email to Jason uh, over at uh, procure.com and you'll be entered in to have a chance to win uh, that prize pack. And it does look like uh, we do have a couple of phone calls, so let's just jump to those. Um, making sure that I'm on my same, I am, correct? So can we go to Joel? All right, let's talk to Joel. Joel is from Troutdale. Uh, we've had a chance to talk with Joel for many years uh, here on Outdoor GPS. Uh, looks like, Joel, you got a comment about drift fishing. What's up? Yeah. Well, first, Merry Christmas to you and the crew there and your family. Thank you. Merry Christmas um, to you. So I just saw your rod when you were holding it up there. Are you fishing with a fixed lead? I'm, I'm old school. I do the sliding lead. So I'll run oh. a main line to a bead. Yep, yep, with yep. A, with a, and I put a small snap clip swivel, mm -hmm. really small, like one of the trout ones that you can bend the wire out. Yeah. Okay, so I'll run that up on the main line down to a bead to a swivel to your leader, mm -hmm. uh, my lead, I'll sit there and I, you know, I get the pliers with the hole in it. I'll flatten out the top and punch a hole through it. That little snap swivel that I got going on the line, if you use one of the real cheap, inexpensive ones, if you snag that lead, you'll are able to pull it back and get all your stuff back. Yeah, no, you may You may lose that lead, but that, the difference on a stationary to a sliding, once you learn that tick of the river, how the bottom of it feels and stuff, you can pick out the bite easily, very easily. I yes. took a friend up that had never done it before, had it in my pole, and he hooked the fish in three three casts with my rod. Unfortunately, he didn't back up when we were landing it and stuff, and the angle of the line changed, got steeper, fish mm -hmm. popped off. Now, I took we... him down the next... 
Go ahead, Joel. I, I, I took him down the next day and uh, had him back up when he hooked. The, when he hooked, he he was doing great, and he had never ever drift fished before. And uh, I, I'm so stuck on that. I mean, I'll, I can go to a spot on the Wilson or wherever down on the coast, and guys will all be bobber fishing down there, and I'll drift fish right underneath and I'll rip them right out from underneath them every time. It, it, it is one of those ways of targeting steelhead, and for that matter, salmon as well, everyone, is deadly effective for both. Uh, but there are several ways to do it. We'll talk about that in this upcoming segment. Uh, but, yes, w what you did see was a fixed setup. Uh, when you're, Good shot, Alan. Look at that. So what he's referring to, everyone, is if you see here on my main line, uh, that's just a swivel with a snap, right? So it's actually a fixed setup with the main line coming to the top of the swivel to the snap and then to a slinky. So just a little bit different than what uh, Joel is referring to, which is having a barrel swivel and then a snap that will slide up and down your main line with a piece of pencil lead. There's lots of different ways to do that. We'll talk about that. Uh, but very good, very good catch. No pun intended. Uh, Joel, thanks for that. And uh, great shot, uh, Alan, by the I, way. I think well. it'll help people, you know, somebody that wants to get into it, you know, mm -hmm. the corky and the yarn and the sliding lead and stuff. It's just, yeah, the old school way is there's nothing at all wrong with it. I mean, I I personally, I think it works better than what, oh, I, I love bobber and jig fishing, and I love back bouncing and stuff, but mm -hmm. I just can't get away from drift fishing. I don't that's blame the, you. The, there, there, there's the actually, a, way. there's a large contingent still of folks that spend time uh, drift fishing, like what we're going to talk about. It's just certainly fallen off in comparison. Joel, thanks for your phone call, man. Have a great Christmas, okay? Uh, and hopefully some of you kind of got a little bit of a gist what he's talking about. We'll talk about more of that uh, here in this upcoming segment, which will be our Chevy Silverado Tech Tip uh, of the Week. Now, Tom, um, should we take Tom's call or should we wait until we have a chance after we talk with Jack? Okay. So Tom from Eagle Creek. Don't go anywhere. He's got thoughts on dam removal. Uh, last week, we kind of covered a little bit of the week before, whatever it was, uh, which really kind of got some traction. And y'all know me. I try to stay away from some of those really political weird things other than, well, maybe I don't. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk with Tom about that later on. When we come back from this break, uh, oh, real quickly, uh, just a message from Katie. Tomorrow is going to be the nastiest day, at least as of, of the next five-day forecast. is going to be kind of nasty. It being Christmas, that's okay. We're going to be at home inside, hopefully, with family and friends. So kind of keep that in mind. We're going to come back from this break with your Chevy Sil Silverado Tech Tip of the Week. We're going to pick up with what Joel was talking about. Just basic rigging for dr drift fishing and just give you a couple of pointers that might get you started, at least the best that I can, from a studio. We'll be right back. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by P-Line, because we fish, by Hawken Fishing, perfection in fishing gear, and by Haxton's Canvas and Upholstery, the trusted name of the Pacific Northwest.